Do you guys want to know how talented the Team USA is? Team USA is so talented that a player like Jason Tatum, who is a 6'8", two-way point forward, and who was arguably the best player in the NBA Finals this past season, isn't even guaranteed minutes. In fact, with the return of Kevin Durant to Team USA's lineup, Jason Tatum would completely fall out of Team USA's rotation in their Olympic opener against Serbia. Tatum being scratched from the lineup was so surprising that it had some people speculating that something just had to be wrong with him. But according to Team USA head coach Steve Kerr, that wouldn't be the case. To quote Kerr, it's really hard in a 40 minute game to play more than 10 guys. With Kevin coming back, I just went to the combinations that I felt made the most sense. I thought I was crazy when I looked at everything and determined that these are the lineups that I wanted to get to. Now I'm not going to lie, I had a good laugh with all of those Tatum memes popping up all over my timeline, but let's be real, Tatum is Tatum. He's always going to have a role on this team, but for KD, imagine being so good that you're one of the reasons that a 5 time all-star and a perennial all-NBA player ends up riding the pine. But that's just how talented the Team USA and Kevin Durant are. When everybody on the team is more than capable of going off, you're going to be forced to make some tough decisions just like Kerr did against Serbia. Against Nikola Jokic and Serbia, Kevin Durant would send a strong reminder to the rest of the world. But first, so we're still in the NBA offseason, but thanks to the arrival of the Olympics, we have the purest form of hoops taking place right now. With the Olympics currently going on, you know that I had to get in on all the excitement and submit some lineups for a chance to 325 times my money with the best and easiest way to play daily fantasy, Underdog Fantasy. To play Underdog Fantasy, all you have to do is download the Underdog Fantasy app from the App Store, or click the link in the description below. And right now, when you sign up using my code COOP, you can get $250 in bonus cash on top of your first deposit and a special limited time bonus square. Now guys, follow me on IG or Twitter to see my lineups before anybody else. And thank you Underdog for the sponsor. If I put Paul Pierce on the Golden State Warriors with Klay Thompson and Draymond and, and Steph Curry, you don't think he can do the same sh I mean, same stuff? Well, I mean, he's really good, you know, like. No, the, but that's my thing okay. is he, he had the ultimate. He's really good. He, can, he, he was yeah. finals MVP. He can do the same thing. Somewhere along the lines of Kevin Durant's career, the Kevin Durant disrespect reached a level that was never warranted. The Kevin Durant disrespect is so bad right now that there are media members who actually believe that Paul Pierce could have done what he did in Golden State. I'm not going to sit here and act like Kevin Durant joining the Golden State Warriors wasn't the weak move because it was. It was overkill. But let's not act like he didn't torch LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers in the finals. And let's also not act like anybody could have done what he did. Sure, the Warriors with Kevin Durant were a super team. And with as dominant as they once were before KD, there's still a chance that they go on to rip off two back-to-back -back rings after falling to the Cavs in 2016 with the right acquisitions. But I refuse to believe that what he did wasn't special and that anybody could have done it. Now I know that the truth wasn't just anybody and that this guy is a legend. But do you guys really think that if he took Kevin Durant's place in Golden State, that he would have touched these numbers in the NBA Finals against a prime LeBron James. In the 2017 NBA Finals, Kevin Durant averaged 35.2 points, 8.2 rebounds, and 5.4 assists. He also would shoot 55.6% from the field and 47.4% from deep. A lot of people like to act like the Warriors didn't really need Kevin Durant, but even Draymond Green says otherwise, saying that the dubs adding Kevin Durant was a necessary action with him being needed to win after the Cavs had figured them out. But regardless of what anybody believes, there aren't many players who can replicate what Kevin Durant brings to the game. What makes Kevin Durant so special is that at seven foot, 
his game has virtually no flaws. And yes, I'm one of those guys that believes that if Kevin Durant isn't actually 7 foot, that he's incredibly close to being so. Look at his head here. Who is he fooling? He's taller than the 6'10 Anthony Davis and basically the same height as the 7 foot Embiid. Tell me that this man is the 6'9 that he claims so hard to be. Actually, if you ask his dad Wayne Pratt or his brother Tony Durant, both of them will also tell you that this man is 7 foot tall. Let that sink in. The shifty and agile Kevin Durant is essentially 7 foot tall while possessing a 7'5 wingspan. That is unfair. His wingspan is longer than the lengthy Giannis Antetokounmpo who has a 7'3 wingspan. It's also longer than the shot blocking Miles Turner who has a 7'4 wingspan. How in the world is anybody in this galaxy supposed to stop a player who is longer than the majority of centers out there but also can dribble and shoot better than just about any guard out there? The answer is that you aren't supposed to stop somebody like this. In Team USA's opener, Serbia would get a taste of just how unguardable that Kevin Durant is. And mind you that Serbia has a world class team. Even without the former back to back MVP of the NBA, Serbia would win a silver medal at the Basketball World Cup in 2023. That's better than the American team who would shockingly finish fourth in this tournament. But still, this Serbia team would be no match for Kevin Durant. Against Serbia, Kevin Durant would score 23 points in just 17 minutes. And he would score 21 of that 23 in the first half while shooting 100% from the field. Team USA was losing when Kevin Durant was initially subbed in off of the bench. But once he saw the ball go through the net, he would start a run knocking down shots effortlessly from all over the floor. It didn't matter if there was a defender in the vicinity or not, because with his size and high release point on his shot, it's like every shot that he takes is uncontested. To add to the impressiveness, Kevin Durant had this opening performance coming back from a calf injury, making the opener the first time that he's played with this Team USA group. But for Kevin Durant, Fitting in is easy as he elevates any lineup that he's inserted into, being the ultimate plug and play player and a walking mismatch on the basketball floor. Kevin Durant can hold his own against bigs, but they're just way too slow to guard him. And he can pester guards, but they're just way too small to bother him. With Kevin Durant being as good as he has been, and as good as he still is, it should be no surprise that he might go down as the greatest Olympics basketball player ever when it's all said and done. Let's go over some records that Kevin Durant already holds for Team USA in the Olympics at the time that I'm making this content. Kevin Durant is currently Team USA's all-time leading scorer and 13th out of everybody in the world. He also leads Team USA in all-time scoring average, field goals, three-point field goals, and free throws. And get this, Carmelo Anthony and Kevin Durant currently hold the record for most gold medals in Olympic basketball history at three. Meaning that this tournament, he'll have the opportunity to do something that has never been done before in Olympic basketball history, obtaining four gold medals. That's tough. In the comments below, let me know who you think that the greatest Olympic basketball player in history is. Do you think it's Kobe Bryant? Do you think it's Dwayne Wade? Do you think it's Carmelo Anthony? Do you think it's Kevin Durant? Again guys, let me know who you think it is down in the comments below and also let me know if you want more Olympics content. There's some more going on in the basketball world that I need to be covering. So clicking the video on the screen right now is a great way to support this channel. I'm Get Like Coop bringing you guys the scoop until our next upload.